This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night. Good night, Tunisia. Okay, okay. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm awesome. Thank you. How are you? I am excellent, actually. I get to have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. What part of the world are you in right now? I am actually in Baltimore, Maryland. All right, all right. And the which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? Oh, man, this is a fun one. So, Empowered Stepmother. That is not an easy feat to accomplish, but that's who I am, an empowered stepmother. Ooh. Now, how did you learn the skills to be the empowered stepmother? <laughs> oh, boy. Through a lot of pain and agony and trial and error. And um, after I just got tired of trying to control everyone else's life and decided to just focus on my own, that's when the empowerment and the, the complete change happened. Mm. It's exhausting trying to control everyone else. Although we spend our lives doing that, it was tiring, so I quit. And I just focused on myself, and I discovered a beautiful way to co-parent with my stepson. I don't call him stepson. My youngest son's biological mother, just by understanding the beauty and who she is as a woman after I discovered who I was. Mm. So it was it was a journey, for sure. I can well imagine. So now you're using the challenges you would have experienced to help others not have to experience that, or even those who are going through it uh, find a way out. Is that accurate? So when you think about being a stepmother, you know, well before Disney created the Cinderella story, most people see them as wicked or evil, jealous, just homewreckers. And so a lot of times when we get married, we automatically assume that role because that's the expectation. We don't see ourselves as an extra layer of love to a child or we're entering into another family dynamic. We kind of separate ourselves and isolate ourselves and it causes us not to be able to love fully or be who we are as women. So that's the whole purpose of being empowered. Hmm, definitely. Now, people who are listening, where's the best place for them to connect with you, Tunisia? Oh, so our website, every, you can find us on all social media at Blending Our Love. And we are BlendingOurLove.com as well. Hmm. And of course, the book, Empowered Stepmother. There we go. And that's the name of it, Empowered Stepmother. No subtitles. Absolutely. So it's Empowered Stepmothers Grow, Glow, and Thrive Harmoniously in Your Blended Family. Hmm. Love it. Love it. Thank the you. The theme of the blending is definitely in there, isn't it? Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. All right. Well, do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Gosh, you know, I definitely would have to say it's becoming a better version of myself. I got tired of hearing my own thoughts, just complaining, trying to figure out who I was. Is this all that life had to offer? Just that constant nagging feeling. And we know there's something more to us. And I know that there, I knew that there was something for, for me to do. I just didn't know what it was. And so I was just committed to being self-aware. And that involved listening to what people said. You know, when people gave me feedback about their experiences with me, instead of just brushing it off, I listened. And it doesn't mean that I soaked up every word that they said, but I took what I needed and I left the rest. And what I did discover was there was a pattern of things that people were seeing in me. And so what I began to do was when I would get upset about something, instead of me just ignoring that emotion, I would ask my husband, hey, if you hear me snap, or even my children, if you, if you see me snap at something, say something in that moment so that I could kind of dig in to see what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What's upsetting me? Am I really upset or am I scared of something? Am I uh, upset or angry? What is the emotion that I'm feeling besides just anger? And most times anger translates into something else. And so it allowed me to discover layers and layers and layers of the things that I was carrying from my baggage of life. And interestingly enough, as I went to family reunions and watched my, my mother and my grandfather, I saw patterns within myself in them. So it was easy to discover where I kind of got those habits from. So after doing that, 
that's where we are today. When I turned 40, right, this happened right before I turned 40. Something about 40 makes you want to discover a few extra things about yourself. So this is where I am today. Hmm. How does it make you feel looking back to where you were and where you are today? Man, you know what? I wouldn't change or trade my journey for anything. I'm really, really grateful for the people around me. And I was able to see how much I was truly loved, you know, for them to even tolerate some of the nonsense that I I was dishing out at the time and still be so patient and loving and kind in the midst of it all. So I don't want to describe myself as a monster, but a lot of us show up differently than we see ourselves in our mind. You know, we have a picture of who we are and then there's the reality of who we really are. And so it makes me feel so blessed and I'm just grateful to be surrounded by such loving and beautiful people in my life and i'm glad to be able to give that love back in return that is wonderful all right all right you sound like a great team manager <laughs> thanks i was in my corporate life i was a team manager as a matter of fact yeah because i think it's a it's a skill set that you'll need right to analyze where individuals are and even when they are not just snap but just emotionally be able to identify where they are before you continue to lead or carry them in a particular direction it's very important isn't it I agree. It's 100% important. I think once we understand who we are, our strengths and the gaps or weaknesses, however you describe them, then we're able to understand other people. One thing that I've discovered along the way is the things that I see in other people that may annoy me or bother me the most, it's really just a mirror of something that I see within myself within myself, just as the things that I see that are beautiful and great in others are also a mirrored reflection of what I see in myself. So by discovering who I am, it allows me to be open to see the beauty in in others. Hmm, love it. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Tunisia. Okay, okay. She is the author of Empowered Stepmother. Blending love is the theme there. Do check her out, Tunisia. Let's switch gears for a moment. Let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue Caribbean water. Hmm. Tunisia, what is your earliest childhood memory? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little funny. So I decided, I think I was about four or five. My great grandmother went running into the house and uh, we were headed to the laundromat. And so I decided to get over into the driver's seat and drive like grandma. Wow. And so I. <laughs> <laughs> and the car is pulled up right in front of the house and there's a beautiful two-car garage in front of us and so no one's in the car and i just she left the car running she wouldn't assume that her great-granddaughter would decide to drive that day and so i just pulled the lever down and somehow i made it to the drive you know it, it not reverse <laughs> drive and slowly because i couldn't reach the pedal slowly the car just rolled forward bam and crashed the into the two-car garage and so my grandfather, my great grandfather, he was so amazing. My great grandmother lost it, and he was like, "Nelly, that's what we have insurance for. Is the baby okay? She could care less if I was. A, she didn't at that moment. It didn't matter what was going on with me, but what mattered was that car. So, so I remember that so vividly. Like, oh my goodness gracious, yeah. Oh wow. So. <laughs> More than why you think that memory is so clear. Because I can imagine why you think it's so clear. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Gosh, I, I definitely learned not to touch things that don't belong to me. I have this like innate fear of, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Like my, mm. my, my husband's like, do you think you're goody two shoes? No, no, no. But if it's not something we're supposed to do, I'm like, paralyzed with don't do that you know I've, I've grown out of it to think outside the box and things with certain things just like make me so nervous and scared and and that's one of them but at the same time what it did show me is even when I make mistakes I'm still so loved mm -hmm. because even though I had done something huge my grandfather's first response is is the baby okay mm -hmm. everything else nothing else matters is the baby okay and I find that I give that same love to my children in the midst of chaos or whatever is happening because I have two adult children as well. I'm always like, okay, we're going to fix this first and then we'll come back to whatever it is later. Let's, let's stay in the moment of what, what you need from me right now. We'll address everything else later. So 
Hmm. That was a great lesson. All right. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Sure, memory? please. I love, I love, I absolutely love the theme that we can see from what it takes to empower someone else. And you uh, were uh, parallel to your grandmother, but then your great grandmother, but then you were empowered as well. You were empowered because you actually believed that you could enter into the driver's seat and do what she was doing. And as much as that was dangerous at that specific time, uh, imagine uh, what that transfers into when other people feel empowered around you. I mean, you said you were a team manager and again, that value just comes again from empowering them and letting them understand that they can enter into the driver's seat again, metaphorically speaking, to do what wow. you're doing. That for me is very powerful. That is. And I love that interpretation. That's so true. Ah, thank you for sharing that. That's so, so true. And I hadn't thought of it that way. I love that. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's yours. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Ha, Michael Jackson. There were a couple favorite songs, but I know Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror, was definitely one of my favorites. I can see myself spinning around, dancing, moonwalking right now. Love it, love it. Well, I love to connect things, and you know, it's just really cool to see you seeing yourself like the woman in the mirror with your granny, right? Like just saying, mm-hmm. okay, she's driving. You know what? I could jump in the driver's seat as well. <laughs> 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 that could be me, and that will live fit with you forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> forever, ever. Absolutely. Oh goodness. Gracious. I love it. <laughs> so All right, funny. Tunisia. Well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes. Tunisia, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Yes. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Not regularly. Oh, all right. What about screen time then? The phone under the computer. More than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, probably less than eight. If you, Tunisia, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Tunisia or KK, what would you say that is? I'm just an empowered mother, hmm. willing to grow, glow, and thrive harmoniously in my family at any given time. Love it. I would take just out of there, though. Could you say oh, it one more time? Oh, that's so true. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> so I'm an empowered mother, willing to grow, glow, and thrive harmoniously in my family at all times. I love it, Tunisia Okiki. This has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I just hope that all of the women out there and people in general, if you're in a blended family, be empowered to live your very, very best life. Find your voices and thrive harmoniously among every person that you're in encountering. Yeah, that you encounter along the way. Love it, Tanisha Kiki. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.